Hi, my name is Jim Kirstein. I'm the author of the Butcher's Guide at Insider's View. And today we're going to do beef short ribs. Beef short ribs, we're going to do these three ways. I'm going to show you basically where the short ribs come from. And then I'm going to do three preparations on them. We're going to do a Calvi marinated. We're going to do an English style. And then we're going to do something called a dinosaur rib or a brontosaurus rib. So back to where they come from. The beef rib. If you note, the, the whole beef rib is seven ribs long and the beef front quarter has 12 bones in it. So what we're looking at here are the, these next four bones on the chuck and it kind of fits, it's not to scale. You can see kind of where it goes. The other thing to note is if you, if you ever look at a whole beef roast, the bones as they get closer to the chuck end get a little more flat. And you'll notice the ends of these bones are all fairly flat. There's an additional bone that's out here, and this, this particular cut of meat is called the beef plate, and it's peeled off of the inside of the chuck when they bone it out. Okay, so what I've asked the butcher to do, there's, there's a couple things to look at here. There's a thick, meaty end of the rib, and then there's a less, obviously less meaty end to the rib. And first thing I did, I bought one and a half of these, or one and two thirds of these. I asked the butcher to slice half inch slices of Calbee style short ribs off the front and so those would come off right there and you can see these are cut about a half an inch thick and there's slices pull that back so you can get a better view of it slices all across and again you can note that the the bones are somewhat flat then the next we'll set those on there and these also the, the other way the butcher cuts them is they'll cut them across in one piece and that's what this is and then the butcher will make what are called English cut short ribs. So we're going to set these Calbee styles aside and then we're going to do the English style. And these are just very simply short ribs that are cut between the bones and the butcher looks to see, look for the lean piece in the middle and then they'll trim up a little bit of fat if there is any. The thing to, to note when you're looking for short ribs in a package is you want these. You want the ones that have a lot of meat in them. You really don't want these pieces. And a really good meat shop won't even bother putting these in there. They'll just bone these and make ground beef out of them. They make a really, really nice ground beef product. We're going to set those aside. Those are called English style short ribs. And I'm going to show you how to cut these, this whole piece, into what are called dinosaur bones or brontosaurus bones. And it's a barbecue dish. So first thing I want to do is I want to pull this, this membrane off the inside. And the easiest way to do that is take the point of your knife, get down to the bone, take a paper towel, and then it will just peel off easily. So we think. Maybe not so easily. We're going to stay with it here. My golly. I guess I should have tried this first. Let's try it from this end. You go down to the bone, point of your knife, grab all of it with a paper towel. With pork, this is really an easy process. There we go. That's what we're looking for. You grab that, peel it off the inside. Obviously, you have to work harder at this than you think you might. And then we'll just take our knife and kind of clean up the inside of these if there's any fat on the inside. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've removed this membrane off the back side. And then what we're going to make are our brontosaurus bones. And what we do to do those, we'll take this whole rib and we'll cut between the bone all the way through. And again, there are four ribs to this piece. And what we're looking for is we're going to take this this is a nice one. We can cook that one whole, but we're going to still, we're going to trim it to make it a brontosaurus bone. We're going to take and cut this off. And we'll just add this piece to our short rib piece. What we're looking for is kind of a, a handle. So you can kind of see, see that's going to make a nice brontosaurus bone. Here's another one here. We're going to do the same thing with that. We're going to cut this off. Take this thicker piece and we'll add that to our English style short ribs and we'll, when we do those, we're going to slow braise those. This one we're going to cook in the oven for 
maybe three to four hours till it's tender. Slow, slow cook it in the oven. And then we're going to stick it on the grill with a little bit of barbecue sauce. These are kind of, these are a fun thing for either big meat eaters in the family or kids that really are excited about maybe eating a little part of a dinosaur. Finish these up here and there's this one. These pieces like this we can set those aside, a little bit of meat or fat on them. We can add those to some ground beef if we like later. I tend to save all my little scraps, put them in a little freezer baggie and put them in the freezer and when I make ground meat I'll add this, this bit of flavor to it. This one will go in there as well. This is going to be just garbage there. So there we have, we have some brontosaurus bones that we're going to slow roast. A little tiny bit of ground beef trim. A little bit of scrap. Some English short ribs that we're going to slow braise in a nice sauce. And then we're going to take these the Calbee style and we're going to do a recipe with those.